Hello, artsy people. I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I'm going to tackle portraits with you. And if you're like me and you've changed mediums lately, um, I've been doing a lot of watercolor and gouache experiments. And I ran into some problems trying to do portraits. And I'm going to show you my failures and successes so that hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. So for this first lady here, um, I wanted to do a, a classic watercolor portrait at first. <laughs> Ended up changing it a little bit by the end, but you can already see that I'm um, kind of making the mistake of using a lot of black. And I know that there are um, or there have been um, artists who discourage the use of black in general, like even when you um, paint with oil paints, especially as impressionist painters didn't use black at all. And I feel that with watercolor it's even more difficult, or maybe at least with um, fair skin tones, that it just looks too harsh because watercolor is supposed to be very translucent and light, and black just seems to muddy it all up. And you can also just tell that I'm... Um, I like to copy. I like to copy the masters, but in this case I'm copying or I'm using a photograph as a reference. So I'm looking at the um, tones that I'm seeing there and trying to translate them into watercolor and that's probably also my mistake. You can be creative. Like you don't have to paint exactly what you see. But I think I've learned here that when using watercolor, I have to keep in mind to just keep it lighter right from the start. Um, and maybe um, mix some own darker sh shades that are not necessarily black. And not stick to what I'm seeing exactly. But stick to what I think will look better by the end. And... Um, when you add contrasts, the black kind of recedes to the background, so it's not that much of a problem, but at first it looks really, really harsh, and you can see me trying to fix that in just a second. My mom told me a story the other day. Um, hello, mommy. She's been watching my videos, and she said that her art teacher back then in school told her that he would give her an A if she stopped outlining everything. So what I'm doing here is genetic. It's not my fault. I couldn't help it. Um, looking at this on the second day, I realized that I didn't like the muted colors. In this case, I felt it missed and lacked vibrancy and life. So um, risking to just ruin it all, I got out my, my gouache and gave her a really fiery head of red and orange hair. And I don't regret my decision. She kind of looks like a superhero now, more or less. And it livens everything up. It probably still clashes a bit with the dark skin tones, but I'm doing this to learn. So I'm really happy I did this because it just taught me so much and hopefully the next time I paint I will keep some things in mind and hopefully do better. I had to also give her a different shawl because it, like the first one just to look good with the vibrancy of that hair. And I will come back to this and give the hair some outlines as well to go with the style of the rest of the portrait. But, you know, sometimes we're so scared of ruining something, but if you're not happy with it, I mean, what have you got to lose? My, my favorite saying, <laughs> just get out your colors and just cover it up, you know, and gouache is great for covering things up and layering. So that's what I did here. And yeah, it's, I don't know, I feel it looks kind of comic book style with the new hair. For the second painting, I wanted to copy another artist I saw. 
and she does her paintings um, a bit like, I don't know, is it Renaissance? But some kind of old-fashioned pastel, very gentle kind of style, you know, very innocent, um, fair, fragile looking women with flowers and, um, I don't know, meadows around them. So you can see my first mistake here and you can tell that I come from oil and what I do with oil is that I mix shades on the canvas, like I, I put them down and then I blend them and it works out and this is so hard to do with gouache. Um, especially since it's, I mean you can blend gouache but um, especially since you activate some of the first layers that are already dry when you go over the next time with a little bit more water that's like another aspect that just makes it a bit harder and um, they just don't stay wet as long as oils do so i'm gonna have to learn to work with gouache a bit differently and it's not i mean if i had been an alla prima painter then i probably wouldn't have as much trouble with gouache because um, I would have learned to mix the correct hues on my palette and not blend so much on the canvas. So this is actually a challenge I would like to pursue further and just try the next time to um, not rely so much on blending on the paper or canvas. Here I'm giving her like a full makeup look like she just fell into some Sephora bucket or something. I didn't like it so much so I decided to make a mixed media painting out of it and I used my chalk pastels to make it all a little bit more romantic and soft and um, also soften some of those um, harsh lines in her face kind of like giving her some powder <laughs> and um, the other thing I did here was I really really like the use of green and purple and shadows like and, and skin tone shadows and that maybe because I have light olive skin myself so um, I do have a lot of yellow in there which she has as well and the slightly darker areas can look a bit greenish. The purple I'm just doing for fun. But yeah, here's the finished result. I added some really cheesy and terrible kitschy flowers <laughs> to go with the theme. But yeah, I still had fun with it. And um, now I'm moving on to my third and last painting of the day, which I think went a lot better because I just took my own advice and learned from my first painting, first portrait, to just treat watercolor a bit differently and keep the um, layers or the shades very light and not add too much shadow and I think it worked out well. I could play around more with the background so my mixed media heart um, found its happiness there <laughs> but in the face itself I tried to keep it simple and subdued and not too busy. What's really uh, tricky when you're not used to working like this or not used to painting Alla Prima is figuring out how to do those transitional shades because that will make the painting look blended, even though you didn't do much blending. But I think it's just a matter of time, and I'm hoping to learn that and just explore that type of painting as well. Like, I'm not saying one is better than the other, but um, it lends itself very well to gouache, and that's why you will probably see me doing more portraits in a completely different way. But now I will shut up for a second and just let you watch the process.
so I hope you enjoyed watching me making two big failed portraits and one that's kind of okay. I'm fixing everything with fixative now since I use pastels and oil pastels. Um, but I think it's an improvement to the first portrait. So um, I hope to see you next week. Stay creative. Take care.